Music was always going to be so critical for this film. I was lucky to be able to work again with, you know, Australia's greatest orchestral composer, Nigel Westlake, who'd composed the score for me for Paper Planes. And we continued our collaboration once again with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. I'm very fortunate to have had a very long relationship uh, with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. And it's always a great sense of excitement when, when we work together. You know, when you've got a room full of 80 people pouring their souls into, into playing, you can really feel that. And the occasion of Blueback, uh, I had the great honour of um, having the score conducted by my dear friend Benjamin Northey, one of the chief conductors on staff with the Melbourne Symphony. I was sitting in this room in Sydney talking to him directly into his headphones in Melbourne uh, as he was recording and I was producing the, the score in, in that way. Yeah, the question's been asked about the transitions between six and seven. Is that subito piano on the bar line or is it just, we, we do a little crescendo in six? So knowing that we needed a big orchestral score, the creative journey with Nigel began in a different way to any other film that I've done a very long process over quite a number of months of me illustrating ideas to him with the use of synthesised orchestral instruments and then him responding and then giving me feedback. We talked very early on about the ocean. How do you create a sense of the ocean in the music? What's the instrumentation to do that? And he started building a lot of the music around the cello. You get this incredible sort of shimmering excitement whenever she sees Blueback and then this sort of deep um, beautiful cello that's sort of hitting you in the solar plexus as the relationship evolves. The shape of the score is, is, a, is a contour, you know, very, very much influenced by the actions of the ocean. You know, the sense of the tides, the ebb and flow of the tides. And this is reflected in the music which comes in waves. It's constantly sort of building and then regressing. It is a timely film about the ocean. Um, it deals, as you'll hear in the music and the beautiful parts that Nigel's written for you, it deals with great sadness at times. There are moments of great melancholy about the reef dying and there's also moments of great joy. Uh, the film has a sense of like a life lived. What I love about Nigel is that humanist element, you know, the fact that he's willing to kind of delve right into the experience that characters are, you know, emotionally connecting with in the film. And it's very, very exciting to see what he was able to achieve, particularly with the massive support of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra.